Today on the Boiling Point, we're going to talk flame safeguards. Now, before we get started, make sure you're liking and you're following all of our social channels, in particular, the new social channel, BoilerWarehouse.com, uh, whether that's on Instagram or Facebook, and obviously check out all the YouTube uh, videos that we do today on the Boiling Point. Welcome to The Boiling Point. I am Richie Ware and this is Brian Grindstaff. Now, Brian obviously runs the Boiler Warehouse uh, division and he had some ideas here. Now, Brian, I know the blue box is popular and uh, mm -hmm. auto flame, flame safeguard, stuff like that, but we got a red box here in Fire Eyes. So why don't you talk a little bit about, you know, what a burner management system does and mm -hmm. then kind of what, what we got here with Fire Eye. Yeah, so uh, a burner management system, um, you know, really just, takes in all the processes of the burner and operates the burner safely. Yeah. I mean, the, uh, that, that's, a, that's a term for it is a, a flame safeguard. And what we've got here is a, are different versions of fire eye flame safeguards. Right. But they are basically uh, built uh, in accordance with safety guidelines um, and input from uh, uh, insurance entities to make sure that uh, all of your burners that you operate have a safe operating process every time you go to light it and operate it. Yeah, from a startup standpoint, um, obviously when you shut mm -hmm. down and relight, I mean, there's all different types of sequencing that everything has to go yes, through. Yes, it, it, it's, it's all designed around all the safeties to be able to start it up, shut it down, start it up again. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, just a couple of those safeties that are built into these are your low and ga high gas pressure switches, sure. um, vent valves, um, you know, your air, air dampers and controlling your air, mm -hmm. being able to purge, mm -hmm. making sure that they see flame when they're supposed to see flame and not see flame when they're not supposed to see flame. Right. So, you know, there's a whole logic diagram of how these things are supposed to operate to make sure that every time that you light and relight that burner that it's safe and there's not going to be any oops moments. Sure. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Um, so what we got here um, are actually three different versions of a fire eye. Okay. Um, you know, we talked about the blue boxes. The, the the colors of these flame safeguards are very iconic. Right. Honeywell right. with their blue. Sure. Fire eye with their red. Um, Auto Flame's got their little white, light blue kind of tint to sure, them. Sure. Um, but uh, Fire Eye is definitely one of the uh, most prominent flame safeguards out there for uh, uh, burner process burners, uh, process burners, and uh, boiler burners, okay. um, ovens. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you see these red boxes all over the place. Yeah. Um, and what I've got here are bas basically three different versions. Um, FireEye actually makes a lot of different steps of here's just your basic operation to, you know, I want something that's going to monitor the whole boiler room. Okay. Okay. And that's how these, these different ones actually have, uh, I guess, different parameters that it actually does, right? It's yes. Sort of based on if you need a little bit more, um, you know, or mm -hmm. you're going to need something like that to really kind of just give you some, uh, maybe some, uh, failures or whatever that happens this the this one would yep. give that yeah so the logic for the flame safeguards are pretty much the same mm -hmm. from from you know a lower btu burner uh as you go climbing btu like basically there's a there's a division line at 12 and a half million okay 12 and a half million and below tends to fall under csd1 12 and a half million and above tends to go to nfpa 85 mm -hmm. or nfpa 86 for uh uh ovens and furnaces okay um so depending on where you fall in that i mean the, the safeties are pretty much the same for burners mm -hmm. uh, but you may want some added features and then your customers may want uh some added enunciation to be able to know when this thing locks out you know why did it lock out where was my issue right um so you'll start to see that and then also you know they make a parallel positioning Mm -hmm. um, to be able to do combustion control as well as just the burner management flame safeguard functions. Right, right. Um, so you get your linkage list with that also. Um, and then also plant masters kind of tie in. Right, um, right. What I got pictured here are really the 
the everyday boxes. I don't sure. have the, the PLC or anything here to show, but yeah. um, you know, you basically got a Y series uh, control, which is a good boiler burner control. Um, you got an E110 that you see all over the places with process burners and everything else. Um, and then you've got an MEC control, which mm -hmm. is another one of those controls that's iconic that you just see all over the place. Right. Cool. Um, and Joy. each one of those boxes there, you kind of build out and trim out based on the burner. Uh huh. So what's what's pictured here is a chassis, but there's actually a sub base and a programmer and a amplifier and other pieces that plug into these things that actually give you the customization for each burner. Oh, nice. Um, so depending on which amplifier you pick uh, will be the scanner that you pick with it. Okay, so this is the scanner. Yep. So what you, get, what you got in your hand there, that is a self-check uh, scanner. Um, this right here, uh, that's a UV scanner. This is also a UV scanner. Okay. Um, the self-check version actually has uh, a check that it does every so often um, to make sure and verify that it's operating correctly. Okay. Um, these other ones are more of an analog process. It's either on or it's off. Right. This one actually does a safety check. And depending on how you're operating your burner and your run time and how often you cycle that burner off and on, you may be required to have a self-check. Sure. Awesome. Awesome. Yep. Well, anything else you got? You good? No, just to uh, say you that, you know, we, we try to help with all types of flame safeguards right. so we you know we're ingrained to be able to help on the blue boxes the red boxes um you know i don't have all the parts listed out here but our shelves are full of all the customizable parts sure. to be able to quick ship for customers right right yeah whether it's a uh like you said honeywell or a, a fire hour or auto flame you know boiler warehouse um tends to to be able to take care of everything in the boiler room so yep. certainly appreciate you taking care of all of that and we will see you next time on the boiler Point.